Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 349. What does busy look like? No picture of Stanley this morning because uh, we went on a walk. He got all wet from being covered in snow and he crawled in bed with Wendy. I don't feel bad about that. What, what does busy look like? Everything from meditating to scrambling like a freak. Uh, you're calm. And then all of a sudden you're frantic. Uh, all of those could be busy. It says, what is, what is busy for you? And what does busy look like? Sometimes you need to meditate to calm your mind. And then you're busy during that period because you're not doing something else, but you are actively engaged doing one thing. A lot of people think they multitask. No one multitasks. Everyone does one thing at a time. It's just how rapidly do you switch from one to another thing and jump back and forth? Because you can only have one pry one. You can only be doing one thing. So you're driving and talking on the phone. Do you remember the drive? Most people don't because they're talking on the phone. They're driving on autopilot. Not exactly the best. Uh, some states, that's, a, that's illegal. So you're only doing one thing at a time. You're just rapidly switching back and forth between those things. And uh, your list, I have checklists, so I'm busy. I'll do one thing. I like checking things off that list. I like making a, uh, adding things to the list every day, making sure I get done what I need to get done, and then moving on and keeping moving forward and keeping that laundry list actually uh, kind, of, kind of weird in that I keep that laundry list of checked lists and scroll it down and keep the new stuff up at the top and just add uh, the, the uh, lined out items and keep pushing it down, pages and pages of lined out items. That's me. Don't compare your busy to anyone else's busy because everyone is different. And are you busy at the right things? Or are you busy with all of the other stuff? with what you need to be busy with. And this is where you have small children, you have families, you have uh, uh, duties to your family. Sometimes you're busy with those and it's way out of your control. How do you grab, how do you grab some control over that and how do you keep moving forward? That's up to you. Everybody has their own challenges in what they're busy with. How can you control and manage being busy at the right things, especially when it comes to your career. If you're doing this uh, as uh, just 30 minutes a day, how can you shepherd those 30 minutes and make sure that during that time you are busy with the right stuff you need to be busy with for your business, uh, whether it's writing, whether it's marketing, whether it's uh, establishing your brand, all of it, or even ordering covers, little things like that, making sure managing the project of your self-publishing business. And then, are you busy at the right things? Uh, you dive on, you have your 30 minutes. Are you jumping on TikTok to see, geez, I think I should do TikTok because I, my, my, I've seen some other people, book talkers are, uh, are making bank, and uh, I really need to do that. I need to really touch the audience. So you get on TikTok and you watch videos for 30 minutes. At the end of it, you have no idea where that 30 minutes went because you watched a bunch of weird stuff, and it was neat, and a lot of it was, uh, was revolting, and uh, the time is gone. Are you busy at the right things? What are you doing and what needs to be done? And then be busy with that stuff. How much of your time are you giving away? Track it for a week and see how much of your busy time is you being busy with stuff that, that benefits you and your business and how much of your busy time benefits others. Uh, people with adult children who, who call every day and need things, uh, how much of your busy time are you spending there? Yes, we all love our children and we give them the time they want and need. But that's a big question. How much do they need? And can they respect you and what you're doing in helping to move your business forward and establish their legacy? Hey, if I make a million dollars as a published, self-published author, I'm going to die. Because we all do. Nobody gets out alive. And hey, that's going to go to you. So stop bothering me. Long-term, bird in the hand, two in the bush. Got to convince them that two in the bush is, uh, is uh, more value and well worth their time, quality time, quality busy time, and be busy with the right stuff. So anyway, 
just a bunch of rambling of, uh, of what it's like to be busy. Track, keep track, manage what you can manage, and keep moving your business forward. Be busy with the right things, and you're going to be busy. It's all about being busy. Even if you're meditating, you're still busy. Be busy with the right things that help you and your business. Peace, fellow humans.